Are you ready with that wig soon? 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 Because this girl has a, a blue, blue sweater and the blue eyes right now, so she needs blue hair. Yeah, so while Arned puts the wig on, uh, let me do the introduction. Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are, as always, your hosts Arne and Carlos. And today, Arne, we've got our friends with us. We have the two Blight dolls with us, our new best friends. Our best friends. And she has a new sweater. Yeah, they both have. They both have new sweaters. They have kind of, they're kind of hard to put on a wig because they have all this hair, but they have wigs. We have actually three. Yeah. We have a blue one. We have a... A white one and a red one. We do, yeah. And this is my favorite, actually. I love that blue wig. Yep. But it is hard to put on. But anyway, we're not going to talk about the wigs today. <laughs> today we're going to talk about the knitted sweaters that they're wearing. Um, and they're wearing two different kinds. Uh, my Blythe has a really cool wide sweater. It's oversized. It's got a drop sleeve. And it's got a slit on the side. Yeah, and very, it's very cool. longer in the back. It's longer in the back like than in the front. It's really dance. cool. And it actually falls really nicely as well. The way that the fabric kind of falls is great. And the other Blythe is wearing a raglan sweater, yeah. uh, which is also really cool. This one is knitted in um, the Alpaca Classic, Alpaca Classic. from Rowan. Both from of them Rowan. are actually. Yeah, that's yeah. also Alpaca Classic. And today we are going to focus on this Blythe sweater, the one with the raglan sleeve. And we're going to leave the sweater with a slit for another day. We're going to talk about how to make it. And we are going to show you some tips and tricks, uh, <laughs> I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you are going to be able to download the sweater for free. All you need to do is go to arnacarlos.com and visit our web shop. Uh, in our web shop, uh, the price of the sweater is zero. You still have to go through the shopping process. But when you check out, uh, it won't ask you for payment since it's already free. So go there and get your pattern and start knitting for your life. Yeah. And your light will be happy. Yeah. She will have a huge wardrobe. Yeah, of nice and warm, beautiful sweaters. And this started now again. It starts every now and then. But this time with the raglan, it started because I have the New Year... What do you call that? A New Year's resolution. Resolution. Mm -hmm. Because I'm cleaning. Yep, you are. And now I'm cleaning the Alpaca Classic. So my plan is now to make one sweater in yeah. each color and then I put the yarn in boxes. So, so I'm starting now to... This is my storage idea. I like these boxes. So I'm knitted in these colors now. And I think when I finished, I will have two boxes with... But can you please explain for me, um, mm -hmm. because I'm not following you 100%, but how is this cleaning? It's cleaning because... Um, because I'm organizing. Um, in boxes, yeah. and and yeah, yeah okay. Because but then, when I finish it, I I close the box, and then we put on labels. I found these beautiful labels. Yeah, okay. So you're gonna write the um, alpaca classic. Okay, let me. And then we glue it on the back, and then I can put it in the bookshelf. Okay, yeah. And it's organized and it's clean. Yeah, but where and does cleaned up? But where does the sweater come in? Why it comes in because. I think it's kind of stupid having all these balls of yarn lying around and I don't know how they look on a blight. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, I guess it makes sense in your head. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, no, I, 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 can, I can use it. Actually, I can use the sweaters as like a color card. Oh, that, that makes sense. Okay. You can put them in, in albums like this. Yeah, actually not because they're gonna stay and stay with blight. Yeah, but a color card would be a good idea. Anyway, what was it you wanted me to write? The name of the yarn. Oh, okay, alpaca and classic with Rowan. Nice, nice writings. You okay? And I had to go. Look, look. This is the white wig, mm. but we didn't come here to talk about wigs. But this is a beautiful one. Look at this. Yeah, it's I very tried nice. it on our knitted dolls also. It's actually quite cool. <laughs> a knitted doll with this hair. It works. Mm, it does, yeah. But yeah. she looks scary. More mm. scary than blight. But okay, tips. So how do you do? How do you do the sweater? How many stitches do you cast on? Uh, there's like six uh, on each needle, four needles. Mm -hmm. That should be twenty-four for the body, and then sixteen 
for the sleeve. So 24 stitches per needle? No. No, total. Six, six on each. Six on, on each four. needle. So total 24 stitches cast on. Uh, and on the sleeve I work on three needles and four on each. Yeah. So that's 16. So you cast on, you do a little ribbing. Like 12. You do uh, three or four rows of ribbing? Three rounds of ribbing and then 10 rounds for the body. Then I decrease two stitches under the sleeve, one on each side mm -hmm. of the, yeah, two together. Yeah. And then the sleeves are 12 rounds. Yeah. And then I attach them together and do the raglan. And then you do the turtleneck, which is... Uh, 20 rounds. 20 rounds. And it's and a this... needle 3 and needle 3.5. And this is what they look like when they are completed. So yeah. I'm holding one up here. It's and she loves a good turtleneck. She loves a good turtleneck, yeah. Now the, so. the head's really big, so these need to be dressed from the bottom. Yeah, they go so. with feet first. Feet first. That's Always. a good way to go. Feet first. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can try the other way, see if you can get this over no, the head. Probably not. I don't think that works. But now I will show you a trick from my mother. She what she did because she was knitting some of the garments in her knitted doll book. Oh, that's true. She yeah. helped us with some of the mm, models. That was a long time ago. And she gave us a very good tip. And that is when you knit the body and the sleeves, it's always a little bit fikret. What's that in English? It's fiddly. Fiddly. And then she used safety pins. Yeah, that's a great tip. So you just put the sleeve to the body like that. And attach it with a safety pin. And then the same on the other side. Yeah, that's like this. And then they don't move around when you knit. And Isn't that clever? That's very clever. She was smart. Oh, absolutely. It's so clever. It's a super tip to make your knitting life easier. See, now they're attached and now you can start knitting on the round. Mm -hmm. So that's a very good way to keep your needles in place. Mm. Another tip which is very helpful is when you bind off. So I have prepared one in grey. When you bind off the turtleneck, if you do it too tight you will have a problem. So you have to be careful and do it like this. So you first you knit one, you pull that stitch a little bit, then you knit the next one. You lift the first over and then again you pull a little bit. Mm. See, just so it's not on not close but a little bit up. And then you knit and lift over and pull. Pull gently, yeah. Yeah, because then you will have a more elastic, uh, elastic turtleneck. So remember always to pull it a little bit. I can't tell you how much you pull. This is probably like around a centimeter or something, but. Like this. Hmm. If you don't pull and you just bind off without thinking about it, you can lose all the elasticity. That was tip number two. And then the third thing. When you sew, weave in the loose ends, you do it like normally, you just weave them in, you sew under the armhole, just back mm -hmm. and forth. But when you put the tail from the neck, you have to do it on the outside. So don't turn the neck inside out and, and uh, sew in the tail, because when you fold it down, it will be on the outside. So, and we just go on, on top of the bars, like this. On the outside of the sweater. Like this. Scissor. Oh, uh, there it is. I heard it in the mess. See? So now that is on the outside and then you fold it down. Looking great. Then you put it on. So that was the blight sweater tips of the day. And then, Carlos, you have another suggestion or something. If you don't yeah, have so, a blight. Yeah, so uh, we think blight is pretty cool. Um, and then she's got this... Uh, this mechanism that actually changes the color of her eyes. So 
There's four colors. This um, is blue. She's a little orange. spooky. Not everybody likes her, I have to say. Um, I've noticed. Not everybody likes her. We do actually like her. I want um, more of them. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> We've got, we're going to build a house for them as well, a dollhouse. So you don't want to miss that. We're going to do that uh, sometime in the future and uh, you'll be able to follow that process too. But yeah, what I was going to say was not everybody has a, bl a Blythe. And if you don't have a Blythe and you still want to knit these little sweaters, um, you can use them for your eggs. And here I've got two uh, boiled eggs and uh, I'm going to see if I can put the sweaters on. Um, and um, as you all know, I love pink, so I'm choosing this pink yeah, color. So you can use the sweater as, a, what's it called? Egg? Egg cold? warmer. Warmer. So let me put the pink one over this egg. Um, looks like you, yeah, it works. We haven't played with the doll for a long time because it takes and a special skill to put on a wig. And we'll do a black one for the other one. I like this. Oh, actually this blue is really nice too. Let's do the, no, the black looks look better with the pink. Let's do this one. Oh, I mean, it's very look important. Look at this girl. Ooh. with pink eyes. Beautiful. So, when you can't, uh, if you don't have a Blythe uh, or you can't put a sweater on a Blythe because you don't have one, whoops, <laughs> it's boiled, don't <laughs> it's worry. Boiled. You, can, uh, you can actually use the sweaters as egg warmers um, and they work just as well. So, there you go. Now you can practice um, a mini raglan sweater before you attempt one for your own self. So that's actually it's the same principle. a pretty good idea because it's the same principle. It's principle. less stitches. You can achieve this in a very quick amount of time. And once you've done one or two or three and you have mastered the art of making a, a mini sweater, you could then go and uh, master the art of making a human sized sweater. So that is actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> And that was her eye. That was blue changing. eyes. <laughs> and then she will do a wig drop. Uh, a, a, uh, what a, you call a wig reveal. A wig reveal before she leave you. And reveal her real hair. Real hair. There you go. And yes, I'm 30, turning 60 years this old. And I'm, you're never too old to play with Blythe. You're never too old for dollhouses, Blythes or anything else. Never. And as we <laughs> mentioned, there is a sweater. There's a sweater. Uh, an alternative sweater, there's pants, and if this episode does well, and I don't know if it will, but if we do really well with this episode, uh, we will make new episodes. So tell us in the comments field that you really want uh, to see more Blythe clothing. We have and to do more episodes because we're building a house. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the more views we get and the more uh, comments we get about the sweater, whether they like it or if they like it, that will mean that we will make more. Yeah. So uh, we, need to, uh, we need to make sure people like this first before we continue. <laughs> so but anyway, like, a, if, you, if you don't have a blight, everybody needs a sweater for their eggs. Yeah, so get on the comments and let us know you want to see more like this. We're looking forward to reading all the comments. Um, and yes, yeah, some formalities, I'm going to be doing them. Uh, if you like the episode, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, be a subscriber. The Arne Carlos family sure. grows every week. And it is lovely having all our lovely uh, family here with us on our channel. And once you're a subscriber, hit the notification bell and then you'll never miss an episode. Um, mailing list is one of the best ways to, you know, find out everything that we're going, doing and all our shenanigans. So make sure you get on the mailing list. Thank you so much for watching. We are going to go and make a few more Blythe sweaters. And this is a wig on a wig. A wig on a wig. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> There's a lot of hair. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>